In this video, you will learn how to edit the config.ini file to change the Bluetooth name. You will learn how to add a sound font and how to configure that sound font in the config.ini. First thing we'll do is put the micro SD card into the PC. And we're going to scroll down to the set folder, open it and scroll down till you see a config file. Depending on how your Windows is set up, it might say config.ini or it might just say config. It'll have the icon with the cog. Double click it and it should open up in Notepad. If it doesn't open in Notepad, right click on the file, choose Open With and choose Notepad. At the very top here you see Bluetooth name, device name equals Saber. So you can call your Bluetooth device whatever you like. I'm going to call mine Judger because we'll be using the Judger for this video series. I'm not going to go through all the other lines. I've already done that in a separate video. We will save the file and I'm going to leave it open because we'll come back to this later. I like to get sound fonts from grayscalefonts.com. They have a bunch of free sound fonts and they have as well paid sound fonts that are called Extra Crispy. I really like the sound of Puppet Master. I've already purchased it, so I have a download button. Otherwise, it's $7 US. So I'm gonna download Puppet Master. SN Pixel V4 uses the same file naming convention as Profi. So I'm gonna download the Profi edition. I'll go to my downloads folder and I see it right there. I'm gonna right click, choose extract all, and click extract. Open up the Profi folder, and you will see all the files in here. I'm gonna rearrange my desktop, so I have two windows, my new sound font on the right, and my USB drive on the left. I will create a new folder and we'll call this one 28. I'm going to take all the files and drag them in to folder 28. And what's cool with SM Pixel V4 is you don't even have to change anything when you're using a Profi sound font. You can leave it just the way it is. You'll notice that other sound fonts, they have the files all in one directory, and that's fine too. The SM Pixel V4 will read the files in the subdirectories, which is awesome. Now some files it won't use because it doesn't support accent swings, so the swing folder, for instance, it would not use. Now that we have the new sound font installed on the lightsaber, let's go back to the config file. If you notice, there's a config file inside the font folder, which is from the Profi. We don't want to use that one. We don't even need that one. Same thing with the smooth SW. We can just delete those two files. So we'll go back to the set folder and open up the config file. And at the very bottom, once again, we're going to put a new line, call it color-28 equals open bracket, and now we select the color. This first value is red value, 
the second one is green, and the last one is blue. So for this blade, I just want it to be pure red, so I set that to 255. It's always a value between 0 and 255. If you want to get creative and use a different color, something that's not standard red, green, blue, use an online color wheel. And I just use colorspire.com. And from here you can select the color you want and just make note of the values for red, green, and blue. So I wanted this kind of purpley color, it would be red 255, green 0, and blue at 128. So I would just add 128 instead of a 0. Then a comma, then the next section is what type of blade effect. Fire blade 0, steady 1, pulse 2, and so forth. I think this would look very cool with a cracked blade, so I'm going to choose number 6, and then a comma. And the last number is what type of ignition. Do you want just a standard blade, or do you want to use one of the special prions? For right now, we're going to use a standard blade, and in the future video, when I explain how to add prions, we'll switch that number, and I'll show you how to do that later. I just noticed I have two hyphens, so it should look like that. Now that we're done adding the sound font settings to the config file, we can save it and close it. We'll safely eject the USB drive. Wait till you see a message saying that it's safe to remove. That wraps up part one. You now know how to change the Bluetooth name of the lightsaber in the config file, how to add a new sound font, and how to set that sound font in the config file. In part two, we will connect the lightsaber to Bluetooth and we'll have a quick overview of the Bluetooth app. Stay tuned.